ओके ओके थैंक यू ओम दक्षिणा सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यंता स्मरिया गुरुपरंपरा श्रुति स्मृति पुराणा आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्तिभेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम पिज्ञाश्रम श्री गुरशंकर पिज्ञाश्रम शंकर सद्गुर केशव वामन कृष्ण पांडुरंग आनंद परिज्ञान गुरु सद्यो जात शंकर सद्गुरु गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम ओं सहनावत सहनौ भुनक्त सह वीर वह तेजस्वी नवधी तमस्तु मिद्विषा वह ओम शांति 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 सर्वेदात सिद्धांत गोचर तम गोचर गोविंद परमानंदम सद्गु प्रणतस्म्यहम दिस इज द लास्ट सेशन ऑफ विवेक चुडामणि we have actually completed the 108 teaching verses which are selected for teaching in the last session itself but then i decided to take 10 shlokas which are called as the nididhyasana nididhyasana shlokas which are a highlight of actually vivek chudamani and most of the acharyas insist that these 10 shlokas are by hearted because they are nididhyasana shlokas nididhyasana means contemplation on whatever has been taught and what is it that is the central teaching that has been taught in vivek chudamani the mahavakya vichara that is tat tvam asi or when i assimilate it i assimilate it as aham brahmasmi i am that brahman i am that nitya shuddha buddha mukta atma brahman there is no bheda between me this consciousness and that consciousness which is the adhisthanam of this entire jagat so i the atma is nothing but that brahman aham tad brahma asmi this is the very central teaching of all our upanishads and the teaching of viveka chudamani also and to have an ididhyasanam on what we have studied so far an ididhyasana shloka is the one which constantly reminds us of whatever we have studied whatever we have understood since the central teaching of vivek chudamani or any other grantha or any upanishad grantha our shruti is basically aham brahmasmi tatvamasi means you are that as the teacher says i assimilate it as aham brahmasmi since i am brahman is that ultimate knowledge which releases me from this bondage this is the nididhyasanam that i have to constantly keep doing that i am not the body mind sense complex i am this atma brahma this abheda atma brahma abheda i am the same consciousness behind this body mind sense complex and all other body mind sense complexes i am that consciousness which is the very adhisthanam of this entire jagat i am that brahman i am not the body mind sense complex in me all that is seen is created in me everything is sustained everything is born everything is sustained everything resolves in me the entire jagat of names and forms including my body mind sense complex arises in me sustains in me and resolves in me this is what is the nididhyasanam that we have to do every day 
initially as sitting nididhyasanam as was taught by lord krishna in bhagavad gita in the 6th chapter and later this nididhyasana should become a regular constant spontaneous one where even in and through my transactions i should understand that body mind sense complex is mithya and the mithya body mind sense complex is doing vyavahara with the mithya jagat and i am not this body mind sense complex aham brahma atma eva aham satyam jagat mithya it is this is what i have to constantly bring in this knowledge has to be spontaneously available to me during all my transactions and to help me with this the process of nididhyasana has to go on and these 10 shlokas from 254 up till 263 are talking about how can one think of this teaching and do a constant and daily contemplation of this teaching of the upanishads so yesterday we just introduced the first two verses 254th words it said even for chanting every day to chant these verses it is so beautiful in different kinds of tunes people chant these verses but the way we have been taught it is jati niti kula gotra duragam नाम रूप गुण दोष वर्जित देश काल विषयातिवर्तीयतमसी भाव आत्मनी ब्रह्मतत्वमसी भाव आत्मनी द गुरु इज से मे यू ऑल द टाइम कॉन्टेम्प्लेट अपॉन द फैक्ट दैट यू आर दैट ब्रह्म ब्रह्म तत् ब्रह्म अहमस्मी भाव अहम तद ब्रह्म अस्मी भाव आत्मनी कॉन्टेम्प्लेट इन योर ओन माइंड कॉन्टेम्प्लेट ऑन दिस थॉट कॉन्स्टेंटली दैट आई एम दैट ब्रह्मन सो इफ आई एम दैट ब्रह्मन वॉट इज द स्वरूप लक्षण वॉट आर द स्वरूप लक्षण ऑफ दिस ब्रह्मन और आत्मा सो हू एम आई हु इज दिस ब्रह्मन वॉट इज दिस ब्रह्मन वॉट इज दिस आत्मा what are the lakshanani of this brahman and atma it says jati niti kula gotra duragam i the atma is not afflicted or affected by any kind of a jati or group i don't belong to any group jati means group niti i am not affected or afflicted by any of the laws the laws of the universe do not affect me they are not me they are my laws they don't bind me i am not bound by any group any jati i am not bound by any laws kula i don't belong to any particular family it is the body which is born in a particular family in a particular kula it is the body which is born in a particular gotra whereas i the atma has no kula no gotra so jati niti kula gotra duragam that means i am far away and i don't belong to any jati kula niti gotra because i am the causeless birthless consciousness nama roopa guna dosha varjitam i do not have any attributes or any name but then we have given the name atma and brahman brahman means that which is big some name we have to give for vyavaharikataya to talk about it that is myself and therefore a name called atma atma means i brahman that big thing that infinite brahman also means infinite that is me but i am not known by any name rupa i don't have any form i am the formless nameless you cannot find me in any particular form therefore i am formless aimless guna dosha varjitam i neither have any positive attributes gunas nor do i have any kind of afflictions or doshas desha kala vishayadi varti vishayati vartiyad desha kala vishayat ativarti vishayati varti vishaya ativartiyad that means i am not limited by desha kala and vishaya normally my body mind sense complex or anything in this jagat is limited by time space and other objects but here he says i this atma this brahman is not limited by space 
not limited by time, not limited by any other object. Why? Because there is one and only Ekam Advayam Atma. Therefore, I am not limited by a second Atma. There is nothing else other than me, the Atma. Therefore, I am not limited by any other object. Time does not limit me because I am Nityam. Time is born in me. Space is born in me. Therefore, I am not limited by time or space. So, Desha Kala Vishayati Varti Yada Brahma Tattvamasi Bhavayatme. I am that Brahman Iti. May you always contemplate upon. The next verse, the second verse says, Yat Param Sakala Vaga Gocharam Gocharam Vimala Bodha Chakshushaha Shuddha Chit Ghana Manadi Vastuyad Brahma Tattva Masibhava Yatmani. So I am that Brahman. Brahma Tattva Masi, you are that Brahman. Iti, may you contemplate. Therefore, I contemplate upon myself as that Brahman. And what is my Swarupam? What is the Swarupam of this Brahman? Yat Param Sakala Vaga Gocharam. That Brahman, which is infinite, Param means infinite, ultimate, the highest, the greatest, Sakala Vag Agocharam, that Brahman, which is not an object of any words, that Brahman, which cannot be pointed out by any words, then how is it available to me? Gocharam Vimala Bodha Chakshushaha. That Brahman which is available only to a Jnana Chakshu. To me, when I turn my intellect inwards, with the help of the Shastra and Guru, when I try to understand myself, the knower, the observer, when I try to understand my own nature, for that particular Vimala Bodhaha, that is of the nature of pure consciousness, which is available to a Jnana Chakshu, to an eye which is trying to see it the way it has to be seen, the way it has to be perceived, as told by the Shastra and Guru. And who am I? Shuddha Chitghanam Anadi Vastuyad. That Brahman or I am Shuddha Chitghanam. I am of the nature of pure consciousness, not an iota of matter in me. Chit ghanam anadi vastu, that which has been there immortally anadi. I am that immortal consciousness which has never come and gone, which has never been born, which has never died, therefore never undergone any changes. So I am that shuddha chit ghanam. I am that pure consciousness. I am that pure substance consciousness. I am not mixed with even an iota of matter principle. I am the very observer consciousness, the knowing consciousness, chit ghanam, pure concentrated consciousness I am. And I am anadi. I have been there immortally from time immemorial. I am not bound by anything. Shuddha chit ghanam anadi vastuyat brahma tattva masi bhavayatmani. I am that Brahman. I am Anadi. I am the Chitghana. I am that Param, infinite consciousness. This consciousness is something which cannot be objectified by words, but I can know myself with the help of the Shastra and Guru. And that Anadi, Chitghana, of the very nature of knowledge and consciousness. Who am I? I am that Brahman. Then the third one, 256th verse, it says, Shad bhirur mi bhira yogi yogi hrid bhavitam na karanair vibhavitam buddhya vedya manavadya mastiyad brahma tattva masi bhavayatmani. May you contemplate upon yourself as that Brahman, not separate from that Brahman. And what is that Brahman? What is you? What is me? What is this Atma? What is this Brahman? What is my Swarupam? Shad Urmi Bhihi, I am not affected. Shad Urmi Bhihi, a yogi. 
shat ur me bhi rahogi means i am not connected with the afflictions of the body mind sense complex it is said that the body mind sense complex has shad urmis urmis means waves of affliction waves as it keep coming one after another where there is no control that same way the body mind sense complex is also afflicted by certain waves of unavoidable happenings they are called as shad urmis what are the shad urmis for the sthula sharira for the annamaya kosha the pair of urmis or that which keeps coming and going without any control is jara and mrityu aging apakshaya degeneration degradation and death jara and mrityu are the urmis or the waves that afflict the sthula sharira that is the annamaya kosha and kshud and pipasa hunger and thirst are the urmis or the waves which affect the pranamaya kosha if annamaya kosha or the sthula sharira is afflicted by jara and mrityu the pranamaya kosha is afflicted by kshud and pipasa we have eaten now we have drunk enough water within a short time again there is a wave of hunger wave of thirst all our lives there are waves and waves of hunger and thirst afflicting the pranamaya making us to eat and drink to satisfy those urmis just like the waves lashing on the shores these urmis or waves unavoidable waves lash the various koshas and jara and mrityu are the waves lashing the annamaya kosha kshud and pipasa thirst and hunger are the urmis lashing the pranamaya kosha and moha dukha and moha dukha and moha are the ones delusion confusion and sorrow are the urmis which are afflicting the manomaya kosha these six waves on of unavoidable affliction to the annamaya kosha pranamaya kosha and manomaya kosha these are what are called as the shad urmis but who am i i am not afflicted by the shad urmis the shad urmis affect only the anatma body mind sense complex anatma annamaya pranamaya and manomaya only are afflicted by the shad urmis i am not i the atma brahman am not affected by any of these then where am i found where am i found yogi hrid bhavitam in a mumukshu's hrid in the hridaya kasha of a yogi of a gnana yogi of a mumukshu this shines as an i shine as the light of consciousness in the heart of everybody and this light of consciousness is what a yogi or a mumukshu wants to know or find out so who am i i am unafflicted by the shadur means which affect the anatma body mind sense complex but i am that light of consciousness which can be found in the heart of every jiva for which the yogis are looking for na karanair vibhavitam this cannot be objectified by any sense organs eyes cannot see nose cannot smell it ears cannot listen to it the skin cannot touch it and the tongue cannot taste it even the karmendriyas cannot handle or use this atma because this is not an object it is the very subject consciousness karanair vibhavitam na karanaihi vibhavitam not shined or lighted up by any of the karanas karanas means bahya karanas and antakarana buddha vedyam anavadhyam asti yad but the buddhi properly trained buddhi when the buddhi or the intellect is properly directed following the instructions of the guru and the vedanta the guru and shruti instructions it can definitely find it it can understand it it may not be an object of perception but it can be understood by a prepared intellect 
and i am that consciousness which can be understood by the mumukshus and the yogis can be found in their own hridaya guhas as the light of consciousness that brahma i am that brahman i am brahma tatvamasi bhavayatmani next comes the 257th word bhranti kalpita jagat kalashrayam svashrayam cha sadasad vilakshanam nishphal nishkalam nirupamanavat piyat brahma tatvamasi bhavayatmani he shishya may you contemplate upon that brahman as you yourself and what is your nature what is your swarupam of you and brahman what is that swar it is not you and brahman you the brahman what are the swarupa lakshanas of you that brahman he says bhranti kalpi da jagat kalashrayam i the consciousness is the very support the very adhishtanam of the entire world of objects i am the support in me the entire world arises the entire world exists supported and in me the entire world goes back into an unmanifest form so bhranti kalpi da jagat kalashrayam this world which is a projected world because of my bhranti what is the jagat we have already seen that jagat is mithya avidya because of avidya because of the avarana shakti of maya the vikshepa of a false jagat is projected a jagat with names and forms which is a false jagat is projected therefore this jagat including this body mind sense complex is bran bhranti kalpitam it is something which is projected out of delusion a delusion because i do not know what really i am because i do not know my swarupam because of this delusion and confusion a false jagat is projected by me so this is the bhranti kalpita jagat but there should be an ashrayam for that like the movie is projected on a screen like the magic is projected on a magician this entire bhranti kalpitam jagat is projected where in me the atma brahman therefore i say mai eva sakalam jatam mai sarvam pratishthitam mai sarvam layam yati but at the same time what is my support swashrayam cha sadasad vilakshanam sva ashrayam i support myself i am the support of myself i support everything but i am supportless i i am abiding in my own pratishtha swamahimni pratishtitam it is said in the upanishads there is no other support for me the atma i am the adhishtanam of this entire jagat but i don't have any further adhishtanam i am not supported by anything else i am the supportless support of this entire universe sva ashrayam i am the support for myself at the same time sad asad vilakshanam i am different from karanam and karyam i am different from murta prapancha amurta prapancha means i am the one who is the adhishtanam of manifest universe and unmanifest universe the murta prapancha and amurta prapancha i am the one who is the adhishtanam of the manifest and unmanifest universe nishkalam nirupamanavad bhiyad nishkalam i am partless i am not made of divisions i am undivided i don't have any avayavas i am niravayavi i don't have any parts put together the whole world is nothing but what is put together with various parts even this body mind sense complex is something which is samhataha it is put together various parts brought together but who am i i am nishkalam nishkalam means i am the one who is partless i don't have any divisions or parts or avayavas nirupamanavad bhiyad i cannot be compared with anything nirupama i do not have any upama nothing can be compared you cannot say i the atman looks like this my me the atman is sounding like this no there is no way you can give any kind of an example 
we do give examples of space and light just to make it understood but then ultimately atman or brahman being one and only ekam advitiyam there is no other vastu in the world whose example can be given to understand this atma therefore nirupama navadbhyada brahma tatvam asi bhavayatmani he shishya you are of that nature you are that brahman contemplate on this every day next in the 258th verse vivek chudamani says janma vriddhi parinatya pakshaya vyadhi nashana vihina mavyayam vishva srishtya va vidhata karanam brahma tatvam asi bhavayatmani so janma vriddhi parinama apakshaya vyadhi nasha all these are meant for what all these are meant for the body the body is born janma the body grows vriddhi parinami parinati that means what the the body that is parinapreet there is parinama there is a change constantly there is a metamorphosis constantly changing apakshaya there is a degeneration degradation vyadhi disease nashah death ultimately destruction all these changes are there for whom for the body but who am i the atma vyadhi nashana vihinam avyayam i am the avyaya atma i am the immortal atma i am that atma brahman which is not wasting away i am that atma brahman which does not get destroyed it is unborn it does not undergo any vikaras it does not die janma rahita mrityu rahita avyaya ekam advitiyam brahma brahma atma aham asmi then vishva srishti avighata karanam vighata karanam i am the cause for the srishti of this whole projected universe this whole universe is projected in me and i am the adhisthanam in which this whole universe is projected and vighata karanam that means what i am the reason or the sthanam laya sthanam also the whole universe ultimately goes back or resolves back into a potential form in me this adhisthanam atma therefore i am the vishva srishti karanam vishva sthiti karanam vishva laya karanam and who am i brahma tatvam asi bhavayatmani aham tad brahma asmi and these are all my swarupa lakshanas next in the next verse the same brahma tatvam asi bhavayatmani is the advice given by the guru hey shishya may you contemplate upon yourself as that brahman which has all these lakshanas and that is your swarupa you are that brahman it is your swarupa see how vedanta describes us you know it describes us with such glory that is why in the previous you know when we completed in the previous session it is swarajyam samrajyam the the shishya said you hey guru you have made me to realize my own samrajyam swarajyam you have made me see that kingdom of mine the glory of my own kingdom in me so that is what it is so here he says in the next verse in the 259th verse he says asta bheda manapasta lakshanam nistaranga jalarashi nischalam nitya muktam avibhakta murtiyad brahma tatvam asi bhavayatmani all the differences all the names and forms all that i see as different names and forms everything ultimately gets resolved in me the atma asta bheda manapastha lakshanam so in me all the bhedas get resolved i am the abde abhedar i am the one which is one without a second chit ghanam brahma atma abheda ekameva advitiya atma brahman and in me 
all the bhedas get resolved all the bhedas belong to the body mind sense complex and the jagat so all the bhedas get actually resolved in me and who am i nistaranga jala rashi nischalam like supposing you see a quiet sea a waveless sea where all the waves the bubbles the foam everything has resolved and there is a quiet sheet of water there so it is like that particular sheet of water or that body of water where all the differences like the waves and the bubbles the foam everything has resolved nistaranga rashivat i am that consciousness without any kind of ups and downs and changes there are no waves arising in me i am that consciousness which is nist तरंग जल राशिवत लाइक मानस सरोवर वेर इट इज एब्सोल्यूटली लाइक अ निस्तरंग जल राशि अ जल राशि अ बॉडी ऑफ वाटर विदाउट एनी काइंड ऑफ रिपल्स और डिस्टर्बेंस दैट इज मी दैट इज माय स्वरूपम नित्य मुक्तम अविभक्त मूर्ति अविभक्त मूर्ति आई एम ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ नॉन अनडिविजिबिलिटी इनडिविजिबिलिटी i cannot be divided into various parts i cannot be divided nitya mukta i am ever free i cannot be divided into parts nitya mukta avibhakta murti avibhakta means undivided one one constant simultaneous consciousness which is sarvagatam which is nityam which is muktam which is all the time their nityam means immortal mukta ever free asangam which is not afflicted by anything that it supports it supports everything but not afflicted or affected by anything it supports nitya muktam always free avibhakta murti i am of the nature of non divisibility undivided you cannot divide me the consciousness when we can't divide water and air and space into various portions how can atma be divided atma cannot be divided into various portions the world of names and forms can be divided the body mind sense complex can be divided but i am an undivided consciousness which cannot be divided and who am i that brahman with this lakshanas i am all these lakshanas belong to me the atma brahman i the atma i the brahman these are my swarupa lakshanas then we come to the verse 260 ekameva sadane ka karanam karanantara nirasya karanam karya karana vilakshanam svayam ब्रह्मतत्वमसि भावयात्मनि एकमेव सद आई एम वन एंड द ओनली विदाउट अ सेकंड सत आत्मा आई एम दैट एक्जिस्टेंस कांस्टेंटली देयर इन ऑल थ्री पीरियड्स ऑफ टाइम देयरफॉर आई एम द सत ब्रह्म एकमेव सद आई एम दैट वन विदाउट अ सेकंड एकमेव अद्वितीय सत this is what is described in the chandogya upanishad in all the upanishad ekameva advitiyam ekameva advitiyam one and the only without a second ekameva sat aneka karanam but there are many karyas there are many effects which arise from me as a projection i am one without a second but in me the entire world of names and forms is projected karanantara nirasya karanam but i don't have a karanam i am not born to anybody i am not born out of anything i have been constantly there i am all the time there and therefore i am not having any karanam so jati niti kula gotra duragam which you saw in the first that is 254th verse it is repeated here i don't have any karanam i don't have a cause i am the causeless cause of the entire universe i am this causeless consciousness in which the entire universe is projected at the same time karya karana vilakshanam swayam 
I'm other than the karanam and karyam. Maya is the karanam, the upadana karanam for this entire universe. The universe is the karyam of Maya. Who am I? I'm the shara prapancha, akshara prapancha, vilakshana, uttama purusha, that is Brahman, 15th chapter of Bhagavad Gita. I'm parat param. I am Aksharat Param Brahma. I am that which is the Adishtanam for Maya also, for this manifest Jagat also. So I am Karya Karana Vilakshanam. I am that consciousness principle which is other than the manifest world and also Prakriti. I am other than even Maya the Prakriti. I am superior to Param. I am even superior to, I am the Paramarthika Satyam. Whereas the world and the Maya Prakriti are Vyavaharika Satyas. But I am the ultimate Paramarthika Satyam, Karya Karana Vilakshanam. I am neither the Karanam nor the Karyam. I am that consciousness in which this world is projected by Maya. Therefore, I am neither the Karanam for this world nor the Karyam. The world is a mere manifestation for in me. Therefore, I am Karya Karana Vilakshanam Swayam. All these things we have already seen, you know, in the in uh, our uh, this uh, Vivek Chudamani 180 verses. Brahma Tattva Masi Bhavayatmani. Then Nirvikalpa Manabhalpa Maksharam Yatksharakshara Vilakshanam Param. Nityam avyaya sukham niranjanam Brahma tattva masi bhavayatmani I am free from all change. All the changes take place in the maya. All the parinamas take place in the jagat. I am nirvikalpa. Analpam aksharam. I am that nirvikalpam aksharam. I am that without any doubt, I don't have any changes. And I am different from that which is a destructible and indestructible principle. I am that which is different from Maya. I am different from the Jagat. The destructible universe, the Kshara Purusha, I am not. I am the Adishtanam for this Kshara Purusha. Akshara Purusha, that Maya which is constantly there. Anadi, which is also not destructible. I am something which is a higher reality than Maya and also the universe. Nityam avyayam sukhasvarupam niranjanam. I am nityam. I am immortal. All the time there. Not limited by time. Avyayam. There are a lot of repetitions. We already saw that avyam. I don't get wasted. I am indestructible. Therefore, I am nityam. I am constantly there. Indestructible. Sukham. I am of the Sukha Swarupa. There is no iota of Dukha in me. I am the Ananda Swarupa. Satyam Jnanam Anantam Brahma. Satchit Ananda Atma. I am that Purnatva Swarupa. Sukha Swarupa. Rasa Swarupa Atma Ahamasmi. Niranjanaha. Not tainted by what I support. I support the whole universe. Not tainted by what I support. Like the sunlight supports or lights up the entire universe, not does not get affected by anything that's happening in the universe. The space accommodates everything in the universe, the whole universe itself, but not afflicted by the changes that are happening in the universe. Similarly, I am Niranjanam. I don't get afflicted. I don't get tainted by anything that I support. And who am I? Brahma Tattva Masi Bhavayatmani. I am that Brahman, which is the very Tattvam, the very stuff with which this entire universe is made. And the Guru says, may you look upon yourself as that Brahman with all these Swarupas. And what is this description of Brahman? It is my Swarupam. The Swarupa Lakshanas of Brahman are ultimately my Swarupam because I am that Brahman. Therefore, think of that Brahman with all its Swarupam and then understand that all these Lakshanas are my Lakshanas. 
द ब्रह्म लक्षणास आर आत्म लक्षणास इति आत्म ब्रह्म अभेद सो इन द टू सिक्सटी सेकेंड वर्स लास्ट बट वन यदिभाति सदने कदा भ्रमा नाम रूप गुण विक्रियात्मना हेम वत्स्वयम विक्रिय सदा ब्रह्म तत्वसी भावयात्म यदिभाति सत् अनेकदा भ्रमा दिस वन सत् दिस वन आत्मा बिकॉज ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन एंड डेल्यूजन एंड भ्रमा भ्रांति लुक्स एज इफ इट इज मैनिफेस्टिंग एज मेनी actually speaking atma is in no way manifesting as in many this prakriti or maya is projecting this many folded universe in me the atma therefore yad vibhati sad that sat brahma atma i shine as the ekam advitiyam anekada brahmat nam roopa guna kriyatmana but because of my brahma because of my avidya it looks as if i am divided into ma nama rupas as if i am manifesting in different nama rupas but no i am not divided into many nama rupas i am that one ekam advitiyam sat which is the shining consciousness which is that consciousness which shines everything it is that consciousness brahman atma i and i shine and i reveal and after me the whole world is revealed so i shine and after me the whole world shines asya bhasa sarvam idam vibhati i shine i am the light of consciousness i light up everything after me therefore naam roop guna vikri atmana that which is there all names and forms they don't belong to me they are a mere projection me what example he is giving hemavat swayam avikriyam sada like gold the ornaments are many the ornaments are divisions they are divided but i am like that gold which is the ultimate adhisthanam to all the divisions all the names and forms all the activities the names and forms and the function purpose belongs to the ornaments not to the gold the gold is the mere upadana karanam of all the ornaments similarly i the atma in me all the names forms gunas kriyas are happening but i am not affected by any and at the same time like the gold is the very substance behind all this activity of the ornaments i am the stuff and the substance ekam advitiyam behind this entirely constantly active world of names and forms and kriya and who am i brahma tatvam asi bhavayatmani i am that brahman i am the karana karya rahita then sthula sukshma karana sharira vyatirikta पंचकोश विलक्षण अवस्थात्रय साक्षी आत्मा एकमद्व ब्रह्म आत्मा ब्रह्म अद्व आत्मा ब्रह्म अहमे अस्मि नव द लास्ट वर्स ऑफ दिस निधिध्यासना टेन श्लोकास इज टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी थर्ड वर्स वेरी से जच्चकास्त्यन परम परात्म प्रत्यगेक सत्यचित सत्यचित्सुखमनमव्यय ब्रह्म तत्वसी भावयात्म यस्ती अनपरम परात्म देर इज नथिंग एल्स अदर दैन मी आई एम द वन एंड द ओनली एवरीथिंग एल्स इज मिथ्या आई एम द ओनली सत्यम आई एम द अल्टिमेट रियालिटी आई एम द पारमार्थिक सत्यम the entire world and its karana maya are purely experiential realities therefore i am the satyam and nothing else is there other than me this whole jagat whatever you see is nothing other than atma roopam brahma roopam sarvam khalvidam brahma 
whatever i see whatever i am doing whatever is happening jeeva jagat ishwara is everything is nothing but me this consciousness and where am i available pratyag ek rasa atma lakshanam i am that inner most content pratyag i am that atma which is nearest that which is the content of this body mind sense complex ek atma is ek rasa atma lakshanam ek rasa it is something which is not divided it is one continuous one simultaneous consciousness principle which is me which is the nearest which is internal pratyag that which is the closest that which is the innermost that brahman is who i this consciousness which is the innermost which is the nearest which is me myself and what is this satya chit sukham ananta avya anantam avyayam i am of the nature of sat chit ananda atma sat means i am when i say the amness the existence i am i the knowledge principle the knower i am sat chit and i am that purnatva atma aham asmi existence i am the consciousness i am and the purnatvam i am sat chit sukham anantam infinite consciousness infinite sat infinite jnanam aham avyayam again i am not that destructible at all the world is destructible maya is destructible but i am the indestructible sat chit ananda swarupa atma brahma tattvam asi bhavayatmani may you contemplate he shishya on that brahman with these lakshanas as yourself so whenever we are reading these verses i should try to understand all these lakshanas as my lakshanas since i am that brahman aham brahmasmi the brahma lakshanas that are talked about in these 10 verses are my lakshanas my swarupam who says i am a samsari who says i am a limited being who says i am the one who is born and dying i am not that what i am is something much much more sacred which is of the highest order of reality but because of my brahma bhranti confusion i do not know who i am and what vivek chudamani is telling me is the very stuff that all the upanishads and the shruti tells me that you are that ultimate the highest there is nothing higher than you you are that paramarthika satya atma brahman you are not this body mind sense complex everything that you objectify as the body mind sense complex and the jagat is mere experiential reality mithya let it be there in its place but may you understand yourself to be that nitya shuddha buddha mukta sat chit ananda roopa atma brahma with this we complete the entire vivek chudamani and since we have completed this text i am so grateful to our guru parampara and to our dearest sadyojat shankar ashram swami ji who has given me this pleasant job of sharing whatever i have learned from my vedanta gurus about whatever vedantic truths i have understood i have known he has given me a free hand in sharing whatever i know with you all and i am so grateful and whatever i have taken in this 27 sessions 108 verses of vivek chudamani teaching verses plus 10 nididhyasana shlokas which i felt were important though they were not a part of 108 verses i actually you know offer it at the feet of our guru parampara and at the feet of ishvara so that all of us are blessed by this knowledge and as usual there are so many people who have worked behind making this successful archana sharmila shantish and so many others you know whom linata whom i have not even met but then they have made this whole thing go on without any hitch and successfully and as i have already mentioned in the last session our swami ji has asked me to start 
sharing with you all Kathopanishad to give a glimpse of the Upanishad. What is the meaning of We have seen a glimpse of Bhagavad Gita. We have seen a glimpse of a Prakarana Granta of Acharya Shankara. Now, our beloved Swamiji wants us to be sharing or know what is an Upanishad. How does the Upanishad teach the same knowledge? That is what he wants us to know. And that, that from the next session onwards, we'll be sharing this wonderful knowledge of Katopanishad. As an example of the Upanishads, we'll be taking the Katopanishad and taking that, studying that. Nandan tu sadhaka sarve vinashyantu vidu shakaha avastha shambhavi mestu prasan nostu guru sada sarve bhavantu sukhinaha sarve santu niramayaha sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashchi dukha maapnuyat om shanti 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 om tatsat 